Recording live from Dallas, Texas, it's Miss Briscoe. Today we are talking about angle bisectors. So this is a new vocab word. So flip to the glossary section of your notebook and add in angle bisector. And then you should have a little colored square of paper that has a box like this that says angle bisector and you're going to be taking notes in that box and then you're going to glue that into your notebook this is 1.5 day sorry 1.4 day two so you're going to glue that underneath where you're going to write 1.4 day two and then there's also an example after this where you're going to take notes in your notebook but you're going to copy it down off the screen into your notebook Okay, so an angle bisector. We talked about the word bisect. That means to cut into two congruent pieces. So an angle bisector is something that's going to cut an angle into two congruent angles. So an angle bisector is a ray. So in our picture, it's this blue ray, ray BD. A ray that divides an angle into two congruent angles. So what this is saying is if ray BD is indeed bisecting angle ABC, that means that angle ABD, oops, and angle DBC are going to be congruent. That was a terrible little marking, but in your notebook or in your little paper, right? If ray BD bisects angle ABC, then that means that angle ABD is going to be congruent to angle DBC. So angle ABD is this angle right here, and angle DBC is this angle right here. So the way that we mark angles as congruent is we put a little curvy. And if they have the same number of curvies, that means they're congruent. So I could mark these both with one curvy, or I could mark them both with two curvies. But just like when we're marking up segments as being congruent, we put tick marks through the segments that are congruent to each other. With angles, we put these curvy marks. So if, they ha if angles have the same number of curvy lines, that means that they're congruent. Another thing I want to point out. This is not an equal sign. This is a congruent symbol. So when angles are congruent, we don't put the measure. I'm at my parents' house right now, and that's their phone ringing, so just ignore that ringing phone in the background. Um, so notice, this, these angles are congruent, not equal. So when they're congruent, we don't put the measure symbol, we just write the angle. So. We could also say the measure of angle ABD is going to be equal to the measure of angle DBC. So if your angles are congruent, you don't put the measure. If your angles are equal, you do put the measure. So you're going to need to copy down this example into your notebook underneath that colored square and then follow along with me and take notes. So it says the ray MK bisects angle LMN. So notice when I'm going to draw this angle, my middle letter is M, so that's going to be my vertex. L, M, N, there's my angle, and then ray MK, so my end point is M, and I'm going to extend it out through K. So Ray MK is bisecting angle LMN. It tells us in the problem then that angle L, the measure of angle LMK is 2x minus 12, and that the angle of the measure of angle KMN KMN is x plus 23. What is the measure of angle LMK? The whole enchilada. So if Ray MK is bisecting this angle. That means that these two angles are going to be congruent to each other. It's cutting that angle into two congruent pieces. So that means that angle LMK and angle KMN are going to be congruent, which means that their measures are equal. So I can set those two angle measures equal to each other. I can say 2x 
minus 12 should be equal to x plus 23 because this is an angle bisector that makes these two angles equal to each other. Subtract the x from both sides. Add 12 to both sides. And you get x is 35, but that's not what it's asking for. It says what's the measure of angle L M or LMK, which means I'm going to go need to take the 35 and plug it back in for x. So LMK is right here, so I'm going to plug the 35 in for x. 2 times 35 is 70, and 70 minus 12 is 58. I'm not going to lie, I used a calculator. Don't use the calculator. You can do that in your brain. Shame on me. Shame on me. You can judge me for using a calculator.